The fourth round of the FIA World Endurance Championship in Germany at the Nürburgring on the Grand Prix circuit is the last before the series takes to the skies for their flyaways. The green flag waved by champion skier Maria Riesch and the leading cars going off in pairs with Audi from Porsche and Toyota. But very early on, Timo Bernard in the defending world champion car, the number one getting between the two Audis. And this was to begin to define the pattern for the whole race. Neil Johnny, the second of the Porsches, making a mistake, clipping the front end of Harry Tinknell's Ford, but just missing the back of Richie Stanaway in the Aston Martin. Nasty fire in the pit lane for Ford, Andy Prio out of the... 67 car, no harm, no foul, and drama for second place in LMP2 in the championship. G Drive with a broken gearbox would not finish, no points for them. The day in LMP2 belonged to the 36 Alpine, they did by far the best job and dominated the category. The racing in the GT classes was always close. Neil Janney. And Mark Lee making the mistake in the number two Porsche, for which he got a drive-through penalty, hitting the Cabezzi Porsche. This was a race that was punctuated by not safety cars, but neutralised race under full course cautions, and those who made the best of them got the best track position. But not everything went right. And penalties would also play their part. At the front of the field, Audi versus Porsche was a battle of the fire. We just couldn't put out just when we thought it was safe to start watching again. Andrea Lotter had closed up to the battle for a second that had been between his teammate and the number two Porsche and joined in the fun. The SMP racing car hitting the back of the number two Porsche, which meant it had to come into pit lane for repairs. Stop the battling, though. The damage, however, was too severe on the left rear for the race director to let it go, and the Porsche was called in with the black and orange flag, and third place was then secure for the number seven Audi. Hard to know where to look on the circuit. There were battles right throughout in GT Pro and AM. The first two hours had a cracking battle for the GT AM leaders. In the end, though, it was the number one Porsche who got all of the strategy right and took the chequered flag to win round four. The Alpine 36 winning in LMP2. Ferrari back in form in Pro with the 51 crew and Aston Martin with the 98 winning in Alpine.